Um, I have an order from the Toy Piper Bazaar. Bazaar? Bazaar. I have no idea. It's not bizarre, like bizarro. Um, Bazaar, like the, uh, like a, like a Middle Eastern market, right? Um, I'm very excited about this because there is a special item in here that I thought I was never going to own in my entire life. It was an item that, um, a really good friend of mine gifted another very good friend um, a year ago and I saw it and I was like oh my god that item is amazing I want to buy it and by the time I tried to buy it it was no longer available yeah, so exciting. <laughs> um, and uh, it broke my heart of course because I really really wanted it and so I sort of put it on my wish list and I was like I'm never gonna get this but if anybody gets this for me I would really just um, be oh so grateful and you know like that's gonna be amazing and Valerie who's the toy piper she in fact did and um, and I'm just like so grateful and I just love um, everything about her store and how sweet she is to do this for me. So this is um, a card that she forgot to send at the last one. So it's the card for the milk tea cow, which I'll put here. And this says, Judy, thank you for your order. So I, know, I never know what Val's going to include. She's so sweet. She knows me really magically well. I think that's her super special talent is that she's so good at guessing what everybody wants and just like magically getting things. Oh! Oh my goodness. Ah, more little tiny fruit tarts. Okay, so look, this one is an itty bitty little fruit tart and it has um, berries and like a little mint leaf on top. This is so tiny. <gasps> and a blueberry one. Oh, it's hard to tell with blueberry crust. They're so tiny. On oh, this apple one little apple slices oh they're so cute okay so stickers time this is Rilakkuma being lazy love it <gasps> hello kitty in a witch's outfit on a witch's broom yes boba queen I am a boba queen I don't like boba personally but my husband's the boba king which makes me a boba queen look at how cute this is love 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 Val you are the queen of all things knowing um, so here is my box I don't know all everything is in it because really I was just focused on this one item that she magically procured for me she wraps things so beautifully and then I just sort of tear them apart because I'm that kind of human <gasps> there's like a lot of pollen in the air right now um, I do my videos in this very beautiful, like, botanically area, and there's always so much pollen. So this is the Mego Cool and Cute series. I'll probably have to keep these. Mego Cool and Cute series. Um, she had these. I have a lot of them. I think that they're so cute. I just like the sassiness of it, and the face is, like, my face all the time. So this one is Schoolgirl. I love Schoolgirl so much. Um, that haircut is so traditionally Schoolgirl and that outfit. And I went to various um, schools, uh, international schools, some, and then some schools with uniforms, some without. And I'm also quite familiar with the horror that is going to uh, a school for um, uh, in an Asian area where you are regulated with your haircut. So here is a school girl. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. She's got two little clips and it's a he. Miko's a he. Um, holding a backpack. Oh my goodness. With the M and the little kitty. This strap falling off. So very, I just feel like my kid's going to look like this in like two years. Um, just like, how sweet is this little Migo schoolgirl? Ugh, in love. I don't think this one has an accessory, like I'm fairly certain. Because he's not pictured with an accessory. Not all of them do. And honestly, what accessory would he even need? Um, 
think this is another Mego. I'm pretty sure these are all Migos. I ordered just a crap ton of Migos because I'm me and I like his face. So here's another Mego. Okay. I'm just like sticking this tape on my leg now. And here we have <gasps> Ballerina. These cards are so substantial. Pop Mart always includes a card with the um, with the toy, but these cards are like incredibly, incredibly substantial. Um, I know there's a lot of collectors who are like really hot on the cards, like the cards are a really big thing for them. And I'm, I'm not there yet, maybe I will be. I don't, um, I haven't been collecting long enough to say what I will or will not definitively been do, be doing because I don't know, just a few months ago, I was like, I like regular toys. I'm not into designer toys, but they like, they really grow on you. So here's our ballerina. So beautiful with the coloring, just a beautiful, like, that's like an ombre that goes up. It's like very, um, it's like spray painted almost. And there's like little pearl dots on the skirt and the detail right there with the, the strappy ballerina shoes. What are they called? Ballerina slippers, ballet slippers. And, and the little chonies, which is not chonies. This is part of the leotard. But yeah, look at how beautiful this little ballerina is. Migo has freckles, which I always adore. Um, and ginger is the uh, original color for our Migo. So there we go. I think I completed like everything I want in the Migo set. The few that I didn't get are specifically because I don't collect like blonde hair toys. So I think there was like a Lolita that I didn't get that I was like whatever about, which is the one that's on the cover, this one right here. Um, I'm like, I'm having such a weird day. A dude came into my office and was just like incredibly entitled and a lot to deal with. So I'm opening all sorts of happiness. This is the Hawaiian girl. Yeah, it's Hawaii girl. Hawaii girl. Love, very excited about Hawaii girl. Those are so sweet. All right, so the story behind why I got Hawaii Girl is my child, like every child in the entire world, is obsessed with Moana. Um, she sings the songs. This one is so cute, like the tan and then holding the coconut. Did that coconut come? Yeah, so the coconut comes off and it's like she's holding a little coconut. Look at it and the details on the skirt. And also, like I've live in California and I've never really gone to Hawaii because there are other places that I would rather go and you know like if you're talking about like a vacation with beaches um, and like pr pretty water or whatever I live in California I've got that here so I've just never really felt the need to go to Hawaii well then I marry my husband and my husband is like I don't understand why we haven't gone to Hawaii yet and I'm like well because we live in Southern California and like what does Hawaii have that we don't have in Southern California? And he's obsessed with Hawaii. He like really wants to go. He likes volcanoes. He wants the slow lifestyle, which I think would drive me crazy. Um, I'm just like a really fast paced person. And he has just always like dreamt about Hawaii. So for the longest time, we've been like, our next big trip, we'll go to Hawaii. But you know, COVID happened and we didn't do a big trip and there just hasn't been um, like a reason to go to Hawaii. I'm not like a big Hawaii fan. I'm a Disney fan, so I might go for um, Aulani. This is Cheerleader, which I'm very, very excited because my husband's name starts with the letter M. And, um, and this is what I look like when he takes me to his basketball games to cheer him on. Um, he is an adult in an adult basketball league. Who knew that they did that, A? And B, like, um, I'm one of those embarrassing wives that will absolutely go there and like scream your name. Oh, look at how cute. 
cute. Oh, I love that high ponytail. Very, very cute. Super cute with the skirt that's always going up on the side. Very, very Mego. And fluffy at the bottom too. Did we know that cheerleader skirts have this white ruffle at the bottom? Socks that are matching, little crew socks over there. So adorable. Let's get those pom-poms in. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm one of the only wives that attend this thing where we go and like watch the boys play and he's like, you don't have to like come watch me. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm going to. And I, you know, like I'm very, I scream uh, his name and I'm just very uh, out there. And so I wonder if it's this way. Yeah, maybe it's this way, my bad. Okay, so there is a clear way that it's supposed to go in. And here is this one, which probably slides in a specific way also. This is a very small hole for what's supposed to go in here. Maybe it goes in the back? Nope, it goes in the front. It's like a really tiny hole to be able to shove this in. Okay. Okay, really cute. <gasps> Look at how sweet that is. This is also like very reminiscent of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer when Buffy was cheerleader Buffy. I just love the Mego series so much. They're just such a cute series. There's two more boxes in here and I have no idea what I ordered. Cause I'm, I'm under the impression that I just ordered a bunch of Migos. So. Um, this one's really, really big. Do you ever do that? Order a bunch of stuff and you're like, I don't really know what I got. <laughs> I do that. Constant. Oh, yay! I've never seen this box, that's why. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> A lot of pollen going around. I've never seen this box. I've, I have one of this, um, I believe it's this one, Bubbles Cooked, CJ Toys Bubbles. Um, I have one of this and I just never, um, I ordered it off of eBay and it didn't come with the box. These are so cute. Look at all the cute ones that come with it. So, I'm going to r ruin the tape and not do it correctly. I'm gonna do this shit. All right, there we go. All right, who did I get? Oh, that's right. I got Rex, Rex who's cooked, which is weird because a bunch of them, I guess some of them are not cooked. Okay, so this is Rex who's cooked. There's a lot of really cool ones. The names are so fun too. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my God, this is a substantial, like a well-made substantial toy. Look at Rex. Uh -uh. Oh my God, spiny, just like the real thing. The coloring on this is so beautiful. I cannot. Just like, come on. Who can resist this cuteness? Ah! Okay, does he stand well? Rex stands very well. Love Rex. Okay. Rex, 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 Rex. Is it Rex? Does it say Rex? Because it says cap over here. Yeah, it says Rex cooked. And Rex is not, oh yeah, there he is, Rex is there. I was like, Rex is not listed on this box. Okay, here's the last item, which is the item that she procured for me magically, like a magician, because nobody was able to get this item. Um, and it is my first of any of this toy, my very, very first Amber Works, Little Amber. I did not know anything about this toy until um, my friend Jen posted it, that she had given it to um, our friend Amanda. And 
I just, I'd never even heard of Amber, but she's like a little girl and she's got like resting bitch face, which amazing. And she, you know, has this, uh, this look about her and I really wanted, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Jesus. Oh, and the weights are little Amber too. I've never seen a weighted bar like this. Okay. Oh, wow. What a beautiful bag. I'm so glad she included the packaging. Good Lord. Okay, so obviously the one I want, if you haven't guessed it already, is the pumpkin one because that is the one that is Halloween themed. This bag is so beautiful. Jeez. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Does it come with a card? Oh my God, this card is enormous. enormous card. Okay, so here's our girl Amber. Look at her. Look at her like jack-o'-lantern shirt and her like a pumpkin floofy skirt and her wellies, like her little rain wellies. Oh my gosh, her hair and the little headband. Okay, so she comes with a stand. Put her down as carefully as possible. Very excited about this one. Okay, here is her stand. The bottom of the stand says Little Amber and it's got like an indent of Little Amber which is impossible to tell. And here, the bottom of her feet have holes and those holes theoretically line up with this stand. I do have to like sort of shimmy it a little bit. Okay. To get it on the stand. And then she's got a little teeny tiny translucent jack-o'-lantern Halloween bucket with a smirking face carved onto it. I mean printed onto it, it's not carved, but it's, oh my ganache. Look at little Amber. I love this so much. Okay, so here it is. My wonderful toy haul from the Toy Piper Bazaar, which is amazing. I am putting together a, uh, a thank you video for her where I do interpretive dancing with my beautiful little Amber. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you so much Val for this amazing, amazing, amazing package. I love it so much.